If there's one thing everyone who watches this channel has in common, it's the fact that we all play way too much Apex Legends. They might be watching you. And if you play as much as the beautiful, handsome subscribers to the Simply Ashton YouTube channel, then you've probably noticed a few similar characteristics that certain mains have. And before we get into the Apex Legends stereotypes, please don't get offended at this video. We're just talking about most of your mains, not all of them. So if, if you don't agree, then it's okay. I, I love you, I promise. So here are five Apex Legends stereotypes that we can all agree on and if you want a part two then drop 2,000 likes on this video and comment Ashton make me tingle and I'll get right on it. Oh my god lifeline recipe come on yes thank you. Lifeline lifeline res me come on res me oh my gosh come on res me res me lifeline lifeline hello lifeline thank you Thank you. Oh my god. There's just something about Lifeline that attracts these level 1 fresh new players to Apex Legends. I, I don't know why, but something about Lifeline draws them in. It attracts them so much. And you just know when you see one of those low level Lifelines on your team, you know, they've got no skin or at the best they've got a rare skin, you know, one of those ugly ones you see at the bottom of the skins list. And they're just walking around. They look so lost. They just don't know which way is up. I mean, they're like nodding their head all over the place. Like, like, come on. They always just seem to walk. They, they never seem to run anywhere. They just kind of plod along with their devotion, spraying everything they can see. And occasionally they'll get a knock, but usually they just die. And they seem to forget that they are the res character because they wrong. just never seem to res you. They just kind of cluelessly look at you like... Deploy and help drone. And while you can be sure that that is the lifeline that nine times out of ten you're going to get on your squad when you solo queue into trios, you know that the lifelines that you play against, well, they're just some kind of sweaty pocket lifeline for their e-boy partner. Now, I'm not I'm nothing against e-boys and e-girls, you know, love to them. I love that they have found each other and, and, and share this relationship, but like you just know when you see that e-girl lifeline holding hands with their wraith sweaty partner, just rezzing at every given opportunity. And the worst part is that nine times out of ten, they're actually decent players. Like, it just sucks because you have to fight against a lifeline and they're also stacking with their three stack and they're also just insane cracked at the game like I'm not trying to get rinsed here come here little child naughty children must be punished being a goblin we get some hard times how could I make a stereotypes video without talking about the stink man this character is so stereotypical I swear every caustic main plays in the exact same way you can bet your bottom dollar they're gonna drop on this building in Fragment with their gas traps and 0.5 seconds after landing, that first trap is deployed. It's the first button they press. It's the first natural instinct to a born core stick is that they must instantly throw down their gas traps. And after that, they must seek the closest shotgun. It's vital to their game plan that they find this shotgun. Often, a Mastiff or a PK is the best option for these stinky men. And then they just stink up the whole building and run around in there and lure people into their traps and shotgun them to death. I mean, this is just, this is every caustic ever. Soon as anything goes wrong for that caustic, be it a player on their team gets knocked or they run out of ammo, the first instinct of this caustic is to let the gas trap consume them and to become one with the gas trap. And to be honest, I understand this does look kind of cozy. And when I think of what your stereotypical Corsic main probably looks like in real life, I imagine they just have long hair. I, I don't know why, but every Corsic main in my brain is just sat there with like shoulder length hair. I, I, I don't know why. And alongside their luscious locks, they also have some really dark sense of humor and that kind of matches their playstyle. They, they get some really twisted joy out of the idea of gassing people slowly and just annoying them like it really makes them smile the fact that they're annoying so many people with their gas trap remember people it's not the gas traps fault it's caustic's fault and we should all be looking to adopt gas barrels today in order to save them from this stinky character so make sure you hashtag adopt a gas barrel in the comment section down below thank you for supporting my cause Octane, Octane, Octane. I swear, this short edit I just made perfectly sums up 99% of Octane main. Listen, full of wrecks. Let's go.
right, all right, maybe 99% is a little bit of a push, but you can all agree with me that the children that play Apex Legends all seem to flock to Octane. I, I don't know why. I think it's the idea of just being super speedy and fast. They just, it really matches their high energy output. When you're in a pub match and there is a random Octane on your team and they have their mic on, nine times out of 10, they sound like this. And of course, to match this high energy output that these people have, and of course Octane as a character has, they just decide to headlessly run around, just stimming everywhere, just running as fast as they can, padding on everything. Game sense is out the window, ladies and gentlemen. Although I know it's hard for some of us to believe, there, there are actually players out there who like to main Revenant. Of course there are going to be players who love to just try out all the characters for the first time and maybe they'll play one or two games on Revenant and see how he plays and then like most people they'll never touch him again. But some people actually like this character and fair enough to them, you know, it's, it's fine. You know for a fact when you see a hardcore Revenant main because they're rev sending you from halfway across the map with their entire team, often partnered by their energetic child Octane, but they don't always have to be. Sometimes it can just be the Revenant and they always just love to rev send from a little bit too far away. They love to just do it from extra safe distance because that's the whole point of the totem, right? You, you wouldn't want to risk dying. And when I picture these stereotypical Revenant mains, there's two main factors that always come to mind. It's got to be that they love heavy metal music. Like, I don't know why, but just my brain can't imagine a Rev main playing Apex without having some sort of heavy metal rock music on in the background. And the other thing is that they're more than likely over the age of 30. Uh, don't ask why, it just makes sense in my brain. And then you've got your stereotypical Bloodhound. Again, like Lifeline, this is a character that just attracts new players to Apex. There's something about Bloodhound that new players see them and they say, Hey, this character looks pretty cool. These Bloodhound players will often be controller players, and I can't actually come up from a reasonable reason as to why this might be. I just call it the Jen Burton effect because we all know how cracked he is on Bloodhound, but there's just something about Bloodhound that attracts controller players. Maybe it's because all of us controller players, we just have all aim, no brain. And if that's the case, then so be it. But another common trait that these Bloodhound players all share is the fact that they just all are so lost. Even though they have the scans, they, they don't know where they are, they don't know what they're doing. They're just kind of hopelessly wandering around, hoping that they shoot the right person and win the game somehow. That's where we're going to be finishing it up for this Stereotypes video. Make sure to drop 2,000 likes on this video if you want to see a part two to this video. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy and goodbye.